Hi, Grand Villa of Melbourne family. It is Nina and I am coming to you late on a Thursday evening. I think it is. The days just all run together now with some amazing news um, and an announcement. I guess they're two different things. So first and foremost, we did our second round of testing with our staff members and I am so excited to tell you that once again, we are all negative. Now we understand this is just a, a little snip, snippet of time, a moment in time. Um, that we're able to see with this test, but it's such a great thing for us to have no positive cases in our community. And we're so grateful for all the warm thoughts and prayers around this. Um, found out last week, a new emergency order came out from the state, and we are now going to be testing our staff members every two weeks. And I pause <laughs> because it is such a big process, but it is one that will help expedite us getting to the visitation piece that we are all waiting on. So although it is a ton of work to do this with 115 staff members, we are excited that we're moving in this direction and we are very happy for the support that the state is giving us to cover the cost of these tests, which is so expensive. So this is all just good, good stuff across the board. So good things happening there. Two, I am very happy to announce, this is my announcement, if I had a drum, but I'd do a drum, that the Melbourne property is the first property to be able to open the common areas. So this is happening. I'm not just saying it anymore. So I sent an email up to um, the work group that I told you last time that I was on and I said, listen guys, we've got negative, negative, negative. I don't think it's fair that we can't open. I pouted a little bit and said, can we at least consider getting the policy finished and finalized so when we do get the green light, we can do this. And within like 20 minutes, the owner somehow got involved and Steve was like, yep, Nina, and you can be the first. So that's what I get for pushing a little bit, I think, and opening my mouth. So we are going to be opening, if I get all the signage, we will be open on Monday, okay? Not all areas are opening, so let me tell you how this is gonna work. We are still under mandate for the salon, the dining room and visitation. We can't have any of those open or do that. Um, but for our activities room, um, the therapy room and the two common areas, we will be able to open that for our activities, for exercise in the morning, morning activity, afternoon sunshine, and then another afternoon activity. Um, we're still gonna do it by floor because the rules are, there are so many rules around this, it has to be still in groups of 10 or less. Um, so what we've done is we're gonna have sign-up sheets for every day on each floor. Um, so the med carts are now located on each floor. We've talked about that a little bit in videos in the past, and that works really, really well. It's allowed a continuity of care for um, your loved ones with our staff members. So your loved ones know exactly who's gonna be there and on what day. So those people know your people inside and out, and they are the ones who will help them decide what activity they want to participate in, along with our life enrichment coordinator. So wellness is working together with life enrichment. We're going to get everybody signed up and then we're doing it in these 30, 45 minute increments. And in between each session, whether it be exercise or an activity, we have to do all that cleaning that I talked about in previous videos. So there's going to be cleaning that's done and then um, assisting getting people to and from the different activities at the different times. Um, things like dining still happens in room, snacks are still gonna be happening in room, but I do promise you, like I've been promising you, and we're finally getting there, that they are getting close to reopening the dining. So we have to kind of teach what social distancing looks like and it's hard it's hard six feet is big and when i've now mapped out everything on the floors and and where the furniture goes and um, everything is labeled on the floors and um, it's farther than you think six feet is far apart so we're gonna have to kind of get accustomed to that and what that looks like so it's baby steps but we're getting there and i am very confident that when the governor makes his changes that will be ready to go. So we are preparing for all of that. Around the visitation, and I've had some very heartfelt conversations with some of you this week, and I know you miss your family, and we want to get you connected. Um, this afternoon, 
the Agency for Healthcare Administration, along with several other agencies, um, get on their weekly phone call and I called in and the secretary for the Agency for Healthcare Administration did specifically talk about visitation. And she said, I hear you, you guys are pounding down the doors, which we should be because we're advocates for your loved ones and we know that's what they need. So you're pounding the doors, we hear you, we know that this needs to happen and we're working on plans to let this happen. So while they're working on their plans, we are working on ours. And part of that work group I told you about, we're putting policies together about what visitation looks like. I got a couple of great ideas today on the phone from some of you with the plexiglass. And I mean, anything we can do to make this happen in a safe, quick environment, <laughs> that's what we're trying to do. Um, I did share with a couple of people on the phone today that our owner, who I've told you is just an amazing person, has some connections and in a warehouse somewhere not too far away are machines for instant testing now this is not the test that's the fingerprint because the cdc has said that the antibodies test is no good like they don't recommend it this is an actual swab where i'm guessing if this works out the way it would work is you would schedule your time to come see your loved one you would come and get tested we would swab your nose the test takes anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes from what I'm told to give you the result. It looks for flu as well as coronavirus. If you had a negative result, then whatever the next step in visitation is, we would call you and say, okay, we have your result. I'm sure it involves some type of protective equipment. Um, I'm sure that it's gonna require social distancing and no touching still, I'm just, that's my guess. Um, and it's going to be limited to certain areas of the community because we don't want everybody walking through the community again and it just puts everything at risk. So that's where I think we're going with things. Again, not 100% sure, but um, I think I have a little bit of the inside scoop and it, it kind of seems like that's what where we're going. So as soon as I know, I will let you know, just like I promised you about opening the common area. So we're super excited about this. We're super excited about our negative results. We are all exhausted and tired, but now we're kind of like rejuvenated because we have been looking forward to this. So fingers crossed, you'll see lots and lots of pictures on Facebook as soon as this is done. As always, I appreciate your support. Thank you for your happy thoughts and your prayers, and we love each and every one of you. Thank you for everything. And be safe. Yeah, be safe.